It's not easy. I mean, especially being a kicker and you get paid to make the kicks and you feel like, you know, you let your team down. So nobody feels worse than he does right now. So when I see guys piling on, I see LeBron. I mean, LeBron, come on, you're like the biggest figure in sports. You know, that's going to be painful for this kid to hear from probably one of his heroes. So I, I feel like in that case, LeBron should be just a little bit nicer to the poor guy. You know, this is a young kid that probably looks up to him. And now, I mean, oh, the whole city of Cleveland and obviously the, obviously the whole NFL is talking about it because, you know, the Cleveland Browns haven't won a game in so long. And they had a chance to do it last week. They tied. And then this, this weekend, uh, they didn't. They lost. So uh, it, it's, it's painful for me to watch because uh, as a kicker, I can relate to him and it's not easy. And I just wish him the best. I know that I just was listening to the radio. And I guess the, the Browns have signed another kicker. So, um, you know, if he's going to keep kicking, it'll have to be somewhere else. And hopefully he gets a shot because, you know, one game doesn't define your career. So hopefully he stays strong and keeps working at it. Can Zane Gonzalez come back from this? Absolutely. I mean, he's not the only guy that's missed key kicks or missed, uh, you know, three or four kicks in a game. I mean, there's been a lot of guys. I know there's guys that – I've bounced back and had phenomenal careers. I've had a few games where I'd like to forget for sure, and then you have to bounce back. <clears throat> the thing that's important is the support from his teammates, which in this case he probably won't get because he's probably going to get released because they just signed another kicker. So that's where now you're going to be out in the street looking for a job. So what he needs to do is make sure he's in shape because the worst thing that can happen is somebody picks up the phone, gives him a call to give him a chance, and he's not ready. So he needs to be ready, and, and now – everybody's going to have that in the back of their mind. You know, can this kid bounce back and he handle it? My biggest advice for him is to stay fit, be ready, so when you get that call, you can show him what you have.